Chairman Williams' plans become a reality for downtown Cleveland. But the company's plans are already giving residents a chance to imagine what the heart of the city could eventually look like. In this News 5 original, Kevin Berry explains how nearby projects have already been getting ready. When Latoya Flowers needs a break from her classes in the campus district, she ends up near Terminal Tower, where the view could eventually look a lot different. It may be good for business. Sherwood-Williams' proposed headquarters could add another tower to Public Square, shifting thousands of workers even closer to Latoya's favorite lunch spots and changing the skyline. It's going to basically be tight on like traffic and parking and whatnot. It'll take up some more space, but it should bring some excited things to the city. But Kent State Urban Design Collaborative's Terry Schwartz says the impact will be felt horizontally, not just vertically. It isn't that huge of a distance, but it feels like it is just because of the, you know, kind of the empty spaces. You're walking across the parking lot prairie. But, she says, a series of new buildings in phase one with a chance for more future development and ground level retail will fill in that prairie, better linking Public Square to the warehouse district. Plus, you put all these employees and such right in the middle of that space, so people might go to lunch in the warehouse district or they might jump on the train at Public Square. It's a neighborhood connection nearby projects are already banking on. 75 Public Square will have 100 apartments up top and two commercial retail spots on the ground floor right on Public Square across the intersection from the new Sherwin-William headquarters. It's going to help anchor this corner as will Sherwin-Williams, who is building their headquarters directly next door to 75 public square. A few feet away, 55 public squares being redeveloped into new office space and more residential units, but with a new restaurant too. The cherry on top is that the pavilion planned for the lot across the street won't block the building out. This building in front of us will only be two stories or approximately two stories according to what I've seen. So 55 keeps its real high profile on the square. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5.